Yes. So, are you saying that we're out here taking the Lord's name in vain? Do you feel like it, you are? No, we're not. But I'm asking you, do you think we are? I'm asking a question. No, I'm asking you a question. A direct question. It's a yes or no answer. Do you think we're out here taking the Lord's name in vain? I don't know. That's why I'm asking. So, we're letting you know that we're not. Because what does it mean to take the Lord's name in vain? Saying that you keep His commandments and, and persecute those who do not yeah. keep His commandments. That is a hypocrite. That's not a hypocrite. A hypocrite is those yeah. who a person. A hypocrite, a hypocrite is friend. when you tell He's someone to do something. Like for example, if I yeah. tell you, you ain't supposed to commit adultery, yeah, but then yeah. I go and it's commit adultery. Like that's a hypocrite. A hypocrite. Exactly. That's not us. No. We're not out here doing that. That's a sin, right? Because so, remember, what does it mean to be vain? Anger. What does it mean to be vain? What does it mean to be vain? Let me sin first, so we can understand sin. Vain means to say that you are something, but you are not. But blaming other people for. So when it means to take the Lord's name in vain, meaning you take the Lord's name for lies. That's right. Exactly. Like this right here. This is taking the Lord's name that's in vain. That's Cesarea Barjoya. Yeah, I know that's who that taking is. the Lord's name in vain, meaning you you're, take it for lies. You're like the Christian I don't know. church. I don't I'm, not, I'm not assuming you don't know. Because I, I don't know you, so I can't, I don't, I, I, I'm, I'm teaching Christ as if, because there's other people that are listening, brother. That's I need a liar. Come, that's yeah, you up here, I need you come, come down here. That's come a liar. You're exactly right. That is a liar. Exactly. So That is a liar. The question I'm asking. So now watch you, this. You got sin? So what's the question you're asking? The question is, is if you take the Lord's name in vain, that means that you are saying that you keep his commandments but do not. No, that's not what that means to take the Lord's name in vain. What do you think it means? It ain't what I think it means. It's what the Bible means. Matter of fact, get that in Exodus. So get that in do you say Exodus. do you think saying Jesus, oh my God, Jesus Christ? No, that's not taking that? the Lord's name in exactly. vain. Exactly. Taking his I just name told you vain. it means take the Lord's name for lies. Exactly. So if you're gonna say that you're his commandments and say you're perfect, that Exodus, means you're taking uh, his name in vain. Exodus 20. Let's let's get the commandment that he is. Give me that. Exodus 20, what verse is it? Uh Exodus 20 and verse 7. It's the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 7. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. For the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Meaning yes, you take sir. it for lies. I agree. You take it for lies. It's not talking about I you agree. keep, hold on, hold on. It's not talking about you keep the commandments and then teach other people or rebuke other people that don't keep the commandments. That's how I would have said. Give me that in Second Ezra 14. So guys, because that is, we're commanded to come out here. I'm just we're, commanded, we're commanded to come out here and tell you That's that you I'm are here. a sinner. That's that you are breaking God's commandments. That's, That's I'm not here. taking the Lord's name in vain, brother. So that's why I'm Give here. me Isaiah 58 more. Do you guys Hold that. Give me Isaiah 58 Hold on, sir. Get out. No, no, we're going to read the Bible. Yeah, and then we'll get to that. Because okay, we're I not going to random through our questions. You know what? Give me Isaiah 58 more. I will wait. Isaiah 58 verse 1. If you Watch guys this. give me an opportunity This is the book speak. of Isaiah. You're not listening. I will, you're not listening. I will wait. Yes, you're not listening, though. You're not listening. Okay, okay, you can wait there all you, but you're not listening. No, you're not. You're listening now? You're not listening. Read me Isaiah 58 more. This is the book of Isaiah. Chapter 58, verse 1. Cry aloud. The Bible commands us to cry aloud. That's why I'm here. Cry aloud. That's why I'm here. Cry aloud. So you're here to cry aloud. Yes, sir. Against us? No. With so, you. With you. For, brother, you got to get yourself you? together first. With you got you. You to repent and keep God's commandments. With you. You got to repent and keep God's commandments first. And we're going to get to that. Read on. Spare not. It says spare not. We're not sparing anyone's Please feelings. Please we're not spare sparing me. anyone's feelings. I'm oh, we're not. Read off. I'm here with Lift you. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Yes, sir. And show my people their transgression. Come on. Yes, sir. And the house of Jacob their sins. Yes. We're supposed to show our people their Jacob transgressions. Right and the house. Out. See, you're not listening. You're talking over me. That lets me know you're not listening, brother. Who's Jacob? Brother, you, you need to humble hey. down. If you say you're with us, you need to humble yourself because you're not listening. You're not here to teach nobody, brother. You're not here to teach nobody. He's the, he was the father of the 12 tribes of Israel. That's who he was. That's who he was. Read this verse again. I get what you said, but you're talking and we're trying to teach you, brother. You're talking. No, we're not acting like you don't know because you don't know. I don't believe in this. Okay, that's good. I don't believe in this. That's good. That's good. That's that all praises. So with believing in that, what do you gotta do now? I'm not like this. I'm what do you gotta do now? But I'm what do you gotta you. do now? If you believe in this, what do you gotta do now? I'm trying to tell you that you're separate no, 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 no. from you. No, I'm not. 
I'm asking you a simple question. I said, if you believe in this, because this ain't your platform to speak, brother. You really think Yo, it's your platform to come and learn and humble yourself. Give me yes, second air, second air, where you at? Second air was 14. Second air was 14 oh, and verse, uh, uh, where it talks about, uh, 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 Are you guys black Lord. Hebrew Israelites? You know what I want? Second Are you guys black Hebrew Israelites? Reverse, uh, Are you guys 13. black Hebrew Israelites? Watch this, play, uh, we're not black Hebrew Israelites. We're not, Israelites. Not, we're not Israelites. black Hebrew Israelites. I'm trying to ask we're not black Hebrew Israelites. We're the Israelites. That's, right. that's right. it. Yes, there ain't no black Hebrew Israelites. Thank you don't you. find that in the Thank Bible. Right. That's Thank a term you. that was set up by society. We are the Israelites. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. Take a step back. You got to humble yourself. You got to humble yourself. This is what you need to do. This is what do you do you want to listen to the Bible now or you want to continue to try to get your point across? I'm not pointing. Do you want to get across? Do you want to get read to the I'm I agree with you that okay good. It's good that you don't believe in that. It's good that you know that Christ was a black man. Yes, sir. So that's it? White like wool. Oh, that's it. So that's it. That's it. That's all you have to do. That's all you have to do. So that that's what I'm trying to show you. The, the that's what I'm trying to see. This is what I'm talking about. That's what I'm trying to show you. But you're not humbling yourself, bro. You're not humbling. humbling myself. No, you're not, because you keep talking while I'm talking. Listen, we are here to teach you who you are according to the Bible. That's you right. know who That's you right. are. So now That's we right. got to teach you to keep God's commandments because you ain't keeping God's commandments, brother. Okay. So this is what you got to do. Read me that. Second Ezra. Watch this. I will listen. Hey, brother. Watch this. Come around here. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter 14, verse 13. Come on. Now, now therefore, now we set thine house in order. Because what we ought to teach you is blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that we are the Israelites according to the Bible. That we are God's chosen. And people. Oh, say, what you mean we all the same? We're, trying to we're all black Native Americans and uh, Hispanics are all the same. We're You're exactly same. right. Blacks, Hispanics, we're and Native Hispanics. Americans, we are the same the people. Same. That's we right. are God's chosen people. Right. And what we must do is come back and keep God's commandments. That's and right. that's what we're trying to show. Read that verse again. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter 14, verse 13. Now therefore, set thy house in order. We must set our houses in order. You must set your house in order. What does it mean to set your house in order? You be a man and you lead your household. And which you women prayer. Which, 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 every which is entitled Sabbath, what? Every single Sabbath. Which entitles what? What are you trying to say? God. I'm trying to so to set Yahweh. your house in order. His name is you Yahweh. Must, to set your house in order, you must teach them to keep God's commandments. His name is Yahweh. To keep God's commandments. Because you know in, you know you know in his name is not going to get you salvation, brother. You know in his name. So you can say that all day, but if you're not keeping God's commandments, that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But you're what not, matters is keeping God's commandments. That's right. So, uh, 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 Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Hold on, brother. Hold on. Questions. We'll get your questions later. Watch exactly. this. Because the scripture just says set your house in order, right? Yes, Watch sir. this. This is a part of setting your house in order, right? Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. So the whole duty of man is what? To fear God and keep his commandments. That's how you're going to set your house in order. You got to keep God's commandments. Nobody said it was God. Nobody said that. We got to fear God and keep his commandments. Because you don't have the power to do that, brother. You ain't keeping God's commandments. You got to keep God's commandments. Are you saying you have righteous keep judgment God's over commandments. me? Keep, keep God's commandments. Are you saying you have righteous keep judgment Keep God's commandments. That's what I'm saying. Keep that what you're saying? God's commandments. I am. I'm saying keep God's so commandments. And I'm telling you, no, you're right? not. I'm telling you, no, you're not Why keeping God's commandments. Give me numbers of 15 chapter. Bring it out. These are certain That's things fine. that we must apply. You're not, you're not answering These are, and, and what we're about to bring out is one of God's commandments, like we just read in Ecclesiastes. This is how you set your house in order. This is how you're taking you the Lord's name in vain. Bring everybody back together. You're you taking the Lord's name in vain by being a judge. You got to repent and keep God's commandments. You need to and that's repent. how I know it's Christianity. Sir, Watch this. Read, give me that. Uh, Numbers 15 and 38. Come on. Come on. The book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 37. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, to the children of Israel. So this is a commandment that we're reading. He says, uh, the Lord charged Moses to speak to the children of Israel. Read. Yes, sir. And bid them 
they're going to make them fringes the in the borders of their garments. He said, bid them, make them fringes in the borders of their garments, right? We don't. The Lord's throughout name. their generations, throughout their generations, read, and that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. And upon that fringe, we were supposed to put a ribbon of blue. That's why you see all these men out here with what on the garments. You guys are not letting me speak. Fringes. Even, even when you look at the so-called Native Americans, Spanish right? Because you say you were black natives, right? When you look at the so-called Native Americans, their, their, their customs and their histories, what was on their clothes? Fringes. Why is that? It's awesome. Dude. Why did they have fringes on their clothes? Because of what we're reading in the Bible. They understood that they was the Israelites. They understood because at one point in time they came over here to keep God's commandments, but then they went off into idolatry. But that's why they had fringes on their clothes because of what we're reading in Numbers the 15th chapter and the 38th verse. Because we are the Israelites. We are God's chosen people. So we must go back and keep his commandments. You understand that? You just came up, so you understand you're an Israelite. So what tribe are you from? You're not from a tribe, so you're not an Israelite? Yes, you're an Israelite. Hey. And you're from the tribe Fellas. of Issachar. Don't you're from the tribe of Issachar that we read. Just like you. What is your nationality? What you say? Matter of fact, get a hey, 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 get get uh get this information to um, show where we located. So what, what we teaching is, like I said, blacks and Spanish. Because if I was to ask your nationality, what would you tell? As a black man, right? African American, right? But do you find African American in the Bible? Do you find Native American in the Bible? Do you find Puerto Rican in the Bible? What about Mexican? Do you find Mexican in the Bible? What about uh, Haitian? You find Haitian in the Bible? No, you don't. You find names like Judah. You find names like Ephraim. You find names like Gad, like Reuben. You also find names like Moab and Esau. You have all these different names. What has happened is, give me that in uh, Daniel. Daniel, Daniel the seventh chapter. Daniel the seventh chapter, because this is what has happened. Daniel the seventh chapter in the twenty-fifth verse. Read that. Just the book of Daniel, chapter seven, verse twenty-five. And he shall speak great words against the most high. That he is the so-called Caucasian man, Babylon the Great. This country, America. It says he shall speak great words against the most high. How did he do that? By saying that this right here, this image right here, is Christ. That God is a white man. That's that's the he spake great words, which we know that that's a lie. Exactly. You're exactly right. So it says he is speaking great words against the most high. He'll say it's okay to be a homosexual. He'll say it's okay to uh you can have casual sex, you can be a fornicator, that's fine. It's okay. You can get drunk and high and, 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 and you can worship any religion you want. He speaks great words against the most high. Read. And shall wear out the saints of the most high. And guess what he has done? He has worn out the saints of the most high. We are the saints of the most high. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we are the saints of the most high. He has worn us out. He has worn us out to the point that we don't even know who we are as a nation of people. We think we African American. We think we Native American. Mexican. Puerto Rican. That's what we think we are. But God said we were his, we were sons of God. We are the Israelites. We make up the 12 tribes. But what has happened? We have been worn out in this captivity. Read on. And think to change times and laws. And guess what? This man has thought to change times and laws. He has changed times and laws. How did he change times and laws? By saying, okay, it's okay for you to be a homosexual now. Because remember, the Bible speaks primarily against that, right? He speaks primarily, you cannot be a homosexual. You cannot sleep woman to woman to woman. You're supposed to have one wife. That's right. But he said, no, that's okay. They have, what has happened is, this society has went and changed everything. Our nationalities have changed. Our customs, the, the understanding of the Bible has changed. The Bible hasn't changed. The words written in the Bible have been the same, but the understanding of the Bible has changed. That's why they have these churches set up all the four corners of, of the earth, especially in our community, to teach us what? False lies concerning the, uh, to teach us this image and false lies concerning the Bible. Watch this, Deuteronomy 28, 37. Deuteronomy 28 and 37. 
Deuteronomy 28, verse 37. Watch this. Read. The book of Deuteronomy 28, verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations whether the Lord shall lead thee. So, awesome. understand it, because don't worry about him, because he's, he's going, he, he, he's, he say he with us, but he ain't with us. He ain't with us. He's here to distract you. Understand that. Wow. Understand that. Because wow. what we're reading and what we're preaching is showing you what? What are we trying to show you? What is this Bible trying to tell you? What is God trying to tell you? Really? Really? Follow, follow his yeah. commandments. Sorry, follow okay. his commandments. Okay. Okay. That's what you're supposed to do. And, and what you really understand, you'll realize, dang, all at the earth, this earth is against me. This earth is against me. You say you feel out of place? Why you feel out of place? I'm asking why you feel out of place. It, this ain't this ain't Christianity. I know, I know. So understand this, and this is where people get confused. Just because you see the Bible, remember the Bible has nothing to do with Christianity. It has nothing to do with religion. It was it, it was this is our history. This is blacks, Hispanics, and Native American history. This is our laws. This is our customs. This is our our guide of how we're supposed to live in this earth. These are, these are our records right. that they stole from us and then didn't allow us to read it. And then retaught it back to us and change the meanings of certain things. But guess what? That's what we hear today. God has sent his prophets throughout the earth to now bring the understanding of who we are. The true understanding of this Bible. What you got? It's the book Read of that. Baruch, chapter 4, verse 1. Come on. This oh, is yeah. the book of the commandments of God. You hear what the Bible says? It says, this is the book of the commandments of God. Read. And the law that endureth forever. And the law that endureth forever. Contrary to what your pastor has told you, the laws of God ain't going nowhere. That's we right. still must keep God's commandments. Men are supposed to raise up and be fathers in their house, be men in their house, correct and guide the woman. They're supposed to, you're supposed to put fringes on your clothes, a beard on your face. A woman is supposed to dress modestly. You're supposed to have a dress on. You're supposed to cover your body up. No one's supposed to see what you're working with. This is the laws that endure forever. And this is why our communities are so jacked up. Because that's why they push all this into our community. Listen, when you look at our media, it's over, it's hypersexualized. The women, oh, be fox, show your body, you can do this. But that ain't biblical. And that's why our, our communities are so jacked up. Albuquerque is one of the top cities for rape. Right. Am I lying? Am I, is this not the rape capital? Why, is, do y'all not, you would think our women would get some sense and cover their behinds up. Right. Cover your body up. You wonder why you're getting raped. You Listen, the, the, the rapist is sitting over there watching you half naked like, oh yeah, yeah, I'm about to get that one right there. Right. Remember, we gotta come back to the laws of God. Right. That's what has to govern our cities, our communities. That's we right. Don't. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 147, verse 19. Read. He showed his word unto Jacob, Come on. his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. This Bible was given to us. He showed his word unto Jacob. We are Jacob. The Israelites are Jacob. The 12 tribes of Israel, we are Jacob. And he gave his laws and statutes unto us. And guess what we got to do? We got to keep it. Ain't no coincidence why you came by here, brother. Right. Is this your daughter? Yeah. Dad, you got to teach your daughter. I'm guessing that's your friend. We gotta keep God's commandments. We gotta come back and do what this Bible says because that's the only thing we're gonna change anything in our conditions. Are y'all not tired of living at the bottom of society? Right. Are y'all not tired of living in the slums and in the ghettos? Right. Then come back and keep God's commandments because that's the only way we're gonna change it. That's Marching right. ain't gonna change it. Right. Going, going to uh, 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 the authorities ain't gonna change it. They hit our guts. No justice, no peace, hands up, don't shoot. That ain't gonna change it. The politicians ain't gonna change it. Voting ain't gonna change it. Right. Repenting and keep God's commandments. That's what's gonna change it. Finish that verse, read that. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 147 and verse 19. He showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Read. He have not dealt so with any nation. And guess what? He ain't dealt with any nation like that. That's why we getting jacked yeah. up the way we getting jacked up. That's why the curses you read in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, are applied oh, to us. They don't apply to no one else. 
They're part of us because we are the sons of God. Just like your daughter. If you tell her not to do something and she do it anyway, what's going to happen? You she in trouble. She's going to get her judgment. That's the same thing the Lord is doing to us. God told us, he gave us commandments to keep and we were disobedient. So guess what? God sent these curses upon us. So now we got to repent and get right because that's what's going to change. That is the only way you're going to get salvation. That's the only way you're going to get as for his judgment, they have not known them. Because guess what? None of these other nations know the judgments of God. Only blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's why we in the uh, slums and the ghettos. That's why we on the bottom of society. That's why we fill the jail houses. That's why we have the worst education. We have the worst schools. We have the worst communities. We have the worst, uh, 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 po uh, we have the worst everything. Because we're the only ones that know God's judgments. And the judgments were for breaking his commandments. Understand that. So you are an Israelite. And it's time to repent and keep God's commandments. Yes. Hello, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. What is the nation? Yeah. Yeah. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. And finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. His word, his word.